Yeah, uh, Dearon, you got angry there at one point, and it just seemed like you flipped a switch. No, I wasn't angry. I was just going to the basket. You weren't angry? No, nah, I mean, they were missing calls, of course, but I wasn't angry. How much did you guys need that? Because it's been a rough week and a half here and, you know, some, some tough losses. But to get over the hump, to take a big shot from a team late and to rebound from it and keep fighting through. Uh, I mean, it was definitely great. You know, uh, the way the Lakers have been playing for for a good chunk of the season now, you know, they haven't really had rim protection. So, uh, I mean, I think – and we also shot the ball well tonight. So, you know, the lane was open. Um, I had a lot of one-on-one stuff. And I was able to get to the basket. But uh, like you said, it, it's definitely great to get a win, you know, like that here. Um, and, you know, you really just want to carry it over. Um, and, and that's pretty much it. I think we had a lot of guys play a good, a good game. A lot of guys made shots. And we were able to get stops when we needed them. When you see LeBron playing the center, do you see anything different than when he's playing any other positions? I mean, man, he's he's been doing a lot of different stuff for his whole career. Um, obviously, when he's playing center now, you know they they're trying to space out the floor and let him operate. But you know the way that you know the, the, where he is in his career now, guys are just trying to put you know the biggest body on him because no matter how athletic and how fast and how quick he is. He's still probably the strongest player on the floor. So, you know, we just try to keep a bigger body on him and everything else, let it play out the way it plays out. But, you know, we just don't want to have someone smaller on him and then he overpowers them all game. Uh, but I think Marvin, you know, Marv, Mezzi, HB, I think guys did a good job on him. I and mean, Ron's going to get his no matter what, no matter what. So you just try to limit that and try to limit the other guys. And, you know, you put yourself in the best position to win. And I wanted to ask you about just from an offensive standpoint, it seems like it's been a while since you guys had been able to kind of sustain a 30 point quarter from one quarter to the next it obviously peaked there in the in the third um just how frustrating has that been and what do you think is kind of the difference I mean I think we were able to get out and run today I mean you know that's one of the highest paced teams as well so when there's two teams playing like that you know it's going to be a it's going to be a race um but we were just able to get to the basket I mean, we had I think like 70 points in the paint something like that um you know, if you score that many points in the paint, you know, you're going to make some type of three, some floaters outside the lane, some free throws. You're, you're going to score 110, 120 in a game like that. So uh, we were just able to get up and down and got what we wanted in the paint. Like I said, they didn't have any shot blockers really in the game besides the, you know, limited minutes Dwight was out there. So um, we were able to take advantage of that. And, and going, you know, back to that second quarter, you guys were down by 14 and uh, you ended up, you know, going into the half down by six. Then the momentum start picking up in the uh, third quarter defense. Uh, what, what was going on, in, you know, when you guys were down, at, you know, by 14 points where you t- started to turn the corner? And I guess at halftime, y'all had that discussion. But what, where at that point was just like, hey, we're still in this game? I mean, one, because, you know, last time we played them here, you know, we were up 14 in the third and end up being down like 20-something. So, uh, you know, you're never – you're never out of the game just because you're down by double digits. Uh, but they had 20, 20 second chance points, I want to say, in the first half. And um, we knew that we just needed to keep them off the glass and, you know, we would we would be all right. And I think we did a better job at that in uh, finishing the second quarter. And then uh, going into the third, we did, a, we did a good job at that the whole second half. So uh, just trying to limit them to one shot definitely played um, in our favor. Harrison and Tyrese talked about how communication was a lot better tonight, especially on defense there? Did you feel that? And was that a point of emphasis? Yeah, I mean, you know, when it gets loud, you you, you have to talk. You have to, you're, you're trying to hear what your teammates are saying. Um, and I think we did a good job at that, you know, on, on a more consistent basis today. Um, you know, like I said, having having a guard somebody like Bron, for one, a smaller guy isn't trying to stay on him anyway. So um, if you're showing or getting back, whatever it may be, you're trying to let, you know, the bigger guy know you know, where a screen's coming, what's what's happening behind him so that he can stay on his matchup. And I think we did a good job at that. Darren, that, uh, the last time they were here, how much did you guys kind of remember, like, the way that game ended, their fans taking over the building, and, and what did you, you like or, or feel about the environment in here tonight? Uh, well, if I'm going to be honest, I didn't think about it at all. So, like I said, they came in here. We were up, we were up 14, 15. Um, and it went downhill from there. That's that's what we remembered. De'Aaron, your guys' pace has been all over the board, but over the last, like I think it's two or three weeks, it's really taken a, a dive. How do you guys get that pace up to where it was tonight where you guys were running up and down the court? 
And that's that's just what it is. You know, even if a team scores, you just try to get it out and run. Um, but like I said, this 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 game, I think, kind of naturally has a fast pace to it because they play fast as well. So when you have two teams trying to play fast, it's, it's definitely going to be a track meet. De'Aaron Harrison, 23 points tonight. It seems like when he's playing well, the team as a whole plays well. You find success. Was it talked about amongst you guys as a team to get him more involved, or did that just kind of happen naturally within the flow of the game? Uh, I think it kind of happens naturally. Um, you know, I think a lot of times, obviously, he's a he's a guy that's off the ball, um, and we, we want him to take shots, want him to be aggressive, um, and he did that. You know, uh, we definitely run some stuff for him, but there's a lot of other things that when he's taking shots, it's not necessarily a play that's going to him or anything like that. It's just in the flow of the game, and I think, um, I mean, he did. He he was great tonight for us, and like I said, defensively. Um, he started off on Russ, um, you guard Brown a little bit, and then you might get switched on to Dwight. So um, he was good for us on both ends tonight. Is there, is there kind of like a worry? I mean, I know you guys take it one at a time, but kind of looking ahead here and over the next week, schedule from a win-loss standpoint kind of loosens up a bit. Is there like a worry around you guys that you don't let up as well in that in kind of in those games? Truthfully, all I know is we played Houston back-to-back -back coming up. I don't know who else we play. <laughs> All right, De'Aaron, we got Christos on the Zoom. Oh. Go ahead, Christos. Hey, De'Aaron, great game, first of all. First of all, how's your shoulder? Oh, I'm, I'm fine. I'm good. Great. Uh, my question is, in this year, 2022, you made some great performances. Coach Gentry said uh, some days before that you played in an all-star level. Alex Len agreed with uh, that quote. And I would like to ask you, do you feel that you play some some of the best basketball of your career so far at 2022? Uh, I think I've played better this season. I don't know if I'd say I've, I've played, uh, you know, the best basketball of my career. I don't think so. But I definitely think it's probably the best stretch that I've had this season for sure.